Hello YouTube, Pallab here and we have the Infocus Turbo 5 here and the Redmi 4 out here and we're gonna do a detailed comparison between these two devices. I know it's long been coming, you've been requesting this for long. First of all, we'll start with what comes in the packet. So for, let's open this Infocus packet and on top you have the phone out here. Once you go further inside, You'll have the warranty card and the quick start guide here and then you'll have the micro USB cable You'll have the 2 ampere wall charger and the SIM tray opener pin Same thing when you go to the Redmi 4 box again uh, The phone on top you have uh, the manuals the warranty card and quick start guide the micro USB cable the 2 ampere wall charger and the SIM opener to pin so as far as the box content is concerned it's one one both are equal next thing is the design and a build quality and they both look very premium they both look very similar from the back just the position of the led is different and also the speaker here it's on the back here it's here so uh, it's down below so when you keep both of these on the flat surface the sound from the redmi 4 will come out better because it won't be obstructed Plus, uh, the Redmi 4 is actually all metal body, it's aluminium, but this one is Fox metal. So this part is actually plastic that looks like metal. So that way, the durability and also the feel of the Redmi 4 as far as the build quality is concerned is better. The feel is better, but both matte finish, the colors are nice on both ends. So in this, in the design and the build quality uh, department, we'll give it to the Redmi 4, one zero there. The next we are comparing the displays and I have set both the displays into 50% and I have switched off the adaptive display. At that the Redmi 4 is slightly brighter than the Turbo 5 but when you see I don't know if you can uh, make out uh, through my video camera but the Redmi 4 screen is slightly paler than the one on the Turbo 5. The Turbo 5 is more whitish now that's a matter of personal preference sometimes but i like uh, truer white so this one i would slightly prefer the turbo 5's display the viewing angle on the redmi note on the redmi 4 sorry is clearly better even here but there's very slight difference only there's another difference and it's very hard to make out but it's worth mentioning is See how it's uh, rendering that word digital color card 5x7 it's slightly out of focus it's not very very sharp not as sharp as the one here so as far as the rendering is concerned I think the turbo 5 is rendering the letters much better but the color accuracy here is almost similar so in terms of a display uh, i don't know i would um, i'd be tempted to give it to the turbo 5 but a very slight edge plus it's worth mentioning that this one has a 5.2 inch screen this one 5 inch screen so a bigger screen means slightly more area to read things to watch things that that kind of stuff okay next thing is the power now as far as power is concerned okay these guys come in uh Two, uh, the Turbo 5 comes in the 2GB RAM and 3GB RAM variant, the Redmi 4 comes in uh, 3 variants, 2GB, 3GB and 4GB um, and this one's powered by 1.3 GHz um, MediaTek 6737 chipset, this one's powered by Snapdragon 435 chipset and while using the UI, the smoothness, the overall how flexible and how silky the ui is and how the responsiveness of the overall system i would clearly give it to the redmi 4 the redmi 4 is uh, significantly more um significantly smoother and significantly easier to use as as such the responsiveness and it's also holds slightly more power which actually brings us to the next comparison which is the benchmark comparison and you will see what i mean even the benchmark scores uh, points out that the Redmi 4 is clearly the more powerful one. You see the enter to score it's 42,000, it's 29,000. Next uh, we have uh, the PC mark score 
see redmi 43515 to 555 uh, and then come to the battery life in a bit here again see it's less the turbo 5 is less similar case similar case yeah and then when we move to our base mark base mark os2 score again the redmi 4 is clearly the better one so even the benchmark suggests that the redmi 4 is actually the more powerful one however when we talk about the battery life then the turbo 5 clearly wins thanks to that um, you know more capacity battery 5000 mAh battery DC there is about there is exactly 1.5 hours difference or advantage to the turbo 5 despite of being a slightly uh, you know bigger screen although the resolution is the same we got 11 hours 6 minute uh, screen on time here 12 hours 36 minute screen on time here so if your if battery life is extremely important for you then the turbo 5 clearly wins here next let's talk about the sensors so you can see the accelerometer here first let's go and check out what sensors the turbo 5 has it has six sensors you have accelerometer magnetic field and orientation sensor light proximity and geomagnetic sensor also but when you go to redmi 4 it has much 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 more sensors than the turbo 5 you see the a whole array of sensors you have the gravity sensor plus you also have the step detectors and step counters so in case you're a fitness freak and you do not have a smartwatch or sort you cannot uh, count your steps only via the phone on the turbo 5 so in terms of sensor uh, the redmi 4 overwhelmingly wins let's take a look at the photo and the video performance now in all the comparisons the left samples are from redmi 4 and the right are from the turbo 5 the first thing you'll notice here is the difference in white balance the redmi 4 on the left has a yellow cast as opposed to the turbo 5 on the right well not the right white balance to start with however you can correct this white balance very easily in post processing Things get little different once you zoom into 100% for sharpness. At the center and left corners, the Redmi 4 is significantly sharper than the Turbo 5, but it is the opposite when you check the right side. Overall though, the Redmi 4 will give you sharper pictures when the conditions are same because mostly we focus in the middle area. The next comparison shows that the Turbo 5 has less distortion, although very slight, than that of the Redmi 4. The next photo shows comparison of the field of view which is almost identical, so no clear winner here. The Turbo 5 has more pleasing colors but often sharpened and oversaturated. In fact, when you zoom in 100%, you can see the excessive noise on the Turbo 5 image on the right as a result of over sharpening. As both do not provide raw shooting options, I would prefer the color coming out of the Turbo 5 but any amount of crop will actually make the photo on the Turbo 5 worse than that of the Redmi 4. The next image compares two things, minimum focus distance or minimum distance a mobile can focus and how it renders an out of focus area. Practically the Redmi 4 focuses very slightly closer than the Turbo 5. The Redmi 4 also has a shallower depth of field meaning it makes the background more out of focus. As far as the front camera is concerned, the Redmi 4 gives you much sharper picture under enough light. Overall, if you take a moment to correct the white balance on Redmi 4, I think it gives better picture from both the rear and the front camera than the Turbo 5.
now then the mother of all comparison uh, the pricing the turbo 5 is available in two variants the 2 gb 16 gb version will cost you uh, 699 and the 3 gb 32 gb version will cost you 799 so there is 1000 difference however the redmi 4 the 2 gb 16 gb starts at 699 but if you want to go up to the 3 gb 32 gb version you'll have to shell out 2000 more that's 899 but there is another version 4 gb 64 gb if you want to buy that Ten triple nine. So there are two thousand uh, differences in all between all the variants. Each of the variants. Now, if you wanted a four GB, sixty-four GB, of, or if you wanted the you know one of these devices, but the most powerful ones, and you can spend that money, then definitely the Redmi Four Four GB, sixty-four GB version makes sense. But if you wanna um, compare Apple to Apple then obviously there's a pricing advantage on the turbo 5 because you get the 3 gb 32 gb version at 799 whether you have to pay 1000 more for the same variant of the redmi 4. okay guys so that was our what we think is a comprehensive comparison between the turbo 5 and the redmi 4 now we cannot give or we should not give it won't be fair on our side to give an absolute winner between the two because each of these three parameters hold different weight for you guys for each of you maybe for some maybe battery life is more important than camera for some maybe the looks is more important even then than even battery because you know you spend most of the day in your office or at home and you do not need that kind of a battery life you do not travel much or maybe the camera is not at all important you do not even use that because you're using one of these as a secondary phone and you have a let's say an iphone or a much better uh, flagship phone for camera so depending on that look at each of these departments and see your preference and uh, clearly you have told in which department which device wins so just add those up and if uh, you know whichever device accumulates more point go for that if you like this video please hit the like button with uh, you know we spend a lot of time and effort creating this comparison video so we'll really appreciate you liking this and share these uh, videos and also if you want any information write down on the comment section and also please subscribe to us and if you haven't already you'll see um, the icon somewhere here and also there are videos the most recent one would be here and probably the best for you or you can go next to those videos out there check out those videos and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in our next video thank you